Welcome to my world of workouts. Welcome to Workout by AC. Today we're gonna start out with a warm up and then we're gonna do a high intensity resistant training session. That means you're gonna bring a set of dumbbell. My dumbbell is seven kilo each and that is 15 pounds. So you're gonna bring a set of dumbbell where you can do the best possible quality. Then we have eight exercises. We're gonna do it from exercise one and down to number eight. And we're gonna do two strength exercises and we're gonna do a pulse exercise and gonna do that system all the way down. Then we're gonna go for round number two and number three. So in the end, we have done three rounds with the work frame of 45 seconds on and 15 seconds for the next exercise. You're gonna bring besides the dumbbells, an uh, exercise mat and my timer is just gonna go on leading the time for us. I'm gonna give you some modification along the way as just as all my session here. And I hope you will uh, enjoy this uh, session and do this with me so please put a comment hit a like and uh, hit the subscribe button if you haven't already done it and uh, I always love to hear from you and if you have any suggestions to other kind of workouts be my guest to put it in the comments as well so go and get your, uh, your equipment and some water and we're gonna do this high intensity resistance training together which is excellent to boost our metabolism get up, rid of that excessive fat and keep and build our muscle tissue. So let's go for this one. Let's start out by giving ourselves a high five. Thank you for being here and let's go. So we're gonna start out by tapping right and left and pushing our arms forward and back. And if you've been here before, then you know the drill. Chin is in, chest is up, engage your core and your pelvic floor. And if not, then you heard it and you will probably hear it again and again. Cause it's very important to keep that perfect alignment when you do the workout, having the best possible quality along the way. Swinging one arm, also thinking about when we're doing the workout itself, do mind the muscle and mind connection. Feeling what you're doing in the particular muscle tissue that we are working with. You get so much more out of your workout when you keep that muscle and mind connection in. We're gonna tap to one side, heel and toe, warming up our ankles, stretching up. But don't do any hyperextension in your lower back. Make sure you get that core engagement so you stay still here, so you're not hyperextension here. So keep it on, lifting up and bring it back down. So toe coming up, mobilization of your ankle joint. We're gonna lift up, kick in a bit more with that glute, stretching in our front of our thigh so we are ready to work with best possible motion. Four more, four. And three, two, and opposite side. So bring it up, starting just by tapping, getting into the movement, reaching up and bring it back down again. Inhale and exhale. Bring that leg up, squeeze your glute, open up in your hip. So still that heel and toe. Keep engagement in your core and hit it off for eight, seven, stretching up. Do remember to squeeze your buttocks, squeezing for more, four and three. Be affected on your breathing and a final one. Getting into center warming up. So every time we do this rotation, it's like massaging our spine and we could use that for our daily way of living. So pushing it forward and back, bring your shoulders forward, but all the power is coming from your core, bouncing a bit in your legs, inhaling and exhaling. And put a smile on your face that just do a lot of chemistry to your body, feeling good, sending all the good signals out in your body. So let's go for another four and three, two hands on thighs. We're going to squat down and we're going to do a little bit of support. And if you're a little bit stiff doing this workout to begin with, don't go all the way down. Just feel the tissue warming up, stretching and lifting your chest up. As we go down, we pull the shoulders back to that good alignment. 
inhaling and exhaling. So keep your pelvic floor engaged, man or woman. And we're gonna do this for four more. On the way up, you're gonna squeeze your glute and your thighs. That's gonna happen by itself. Two more. And one more. Stay put here and do a little bit rotation here. Make sure you have that engagement in your core, pushing that belly button towards your spine for a good support of your back. So squeezing and turning and twisting for another four and three. Keep it up, two and you're gonna lift your chest a little bit more and then we're gonna go from side to side. A nice little stretch in your inner thigh. Make sure when you go out to the side, you keep your knee behind your toe, easing of your knees. So pushing from one side, get that nice little squeeze in your inner thigh. Inhaling and exhaling. And we're gonna go for four and three. Shoulders are back. Let's go for the final one on each side and into center. And we're just gonna roll all the way up, pulling our shoulders back, getting into center, opening up, get a nice stretch in your abs, pulling back, open up in your shoulder joint and one more. Yes, beautiful. So I got my timer here for the 45 seconds and the 15 seconds for the next in those 15 seconds, I will show you the next exercise. And then we're just gonna move on from exercise one to number eight. And it's gonna be with eight exercise, gonna be a little under uh, eight minutes. And then I'm gonna give you a short break to get some water. And then we're gonna continue for round number two and number three. Make sure that you need that break. If you don't need the break, you need to push up that intensity. We wanna work hard, smart, short, and efficiently. The first exercise, we're going to use the dumbbells. So you're going to bring those. We are going to do an upright row, single arm. So we're going to pull the shoulders back. We're going to lift that arm up. And do notice my elbow is coming up as the upper point here and slowly down again. So we're going to do that. If your dumbbells are a little bit too light, then you can just go with both hands instead. So that's what we're going to do for the 45 seconds. So we have two strength exercises, one pulse exercise, and so on all the way down. We are gonna start the timer here. <clears throat> yep, let's go. 10 seconds countdown. Get yourself into position, loosening up your knees, shoulders are back. Three, two, and lifting up slowly down. So look at that elbow. Easy piece, just look to the side and see where the elbow goes. You have engaged your core. You're gonna inhale on the way up and exhale on the way down. Very important. Usually when we get tired, it's because of lack of oxygen. So you need to get that air in and you can widen your nose so you get lots of air inside your body. Inhaling and exhaling for another 10 seconds. Make sure if you started with your right arm, make sure you finish off with your left arm. So we're just gonna hurry a little bit here and we're gonna put the dumbbells out to the side. You're gonna lie down, we're gonna do some ab work. You're gonna push your lower back down. We're gonna lift ourselves up, keeping those heels upwards and we're gonna do oblique ab exercise here. Two and one. Your chin is in to ease off your neck. You're gonna push that lower back down so you can feel the engagement in your core. Keep your upper body up. If this is too much for your lower back, you can go down and continue here with the exercise. Or if it is a neck issue, you can just come up here and you're supporting your neck with one hand and you're gonna continue. It doesn't matter. It's all depending on where you are in your fitness journey or maybe how you're feeling today. The most important thing is that you're doing something and trying to keep those seconds running. So pushing from one side, fill the muscle tissue and equal amount on each. Let's go up for a standing position to strengthen now our pulse exercise is coming up and we're gonna tap high knees, tapping alternative legs. So leaning back a bit, 
and squeezing and we're gonna lift our knees up and we're gonna tap the opposite leg if this is too much and no worries you can come in here and you're gonna do this and one day you finally find that you can do the other way around but you can also do like 10 seconds here and then you can go 10 seconds here it doesn't matter just as long as you are affected on your breathing you want to sound like this so as you know when i work out myself i'm not able to speak like I, like i am now when i'm guiding you but this is where you're supposed to be as much affected on your breathing so you can not speak two and one you can bring your dumbbells we're gonna do go for some lateral biceps curl and we're gonna push it up to a v and we're gonna slowly bring the dumbbells down again so shoulders are back loosening up your knees let's go biceps curl shoulder press up for a v in and slowly down again so keep those shoulders back a little bit of an engagement in between your shoulder blades and you're gonna connect with your core before you do anything else you're gonna keep your chin in so inhaling pushing up if you need a little bit of support to get that push up don't do this you want to go with bending your knees pushing up and not pulling your hip forward seven seconds squeezing lifting and down again now we're going to do a little bit of a creative movement here you're going to put those dumbbells in your knee area you're going to lie down hands underneath hips and you're going to bring either both legs up or single leg for the glutes let's go so squeezing feel the squeeze in your glutes slowly down again resting our upper body using our lower body that way we can push it even further if you're struggling getting those knees up go single leg again it doesn't matter just as long as you get equal amount on each glute so bring it up and slowly down and you can feel that squeeze in your glutes keep your knees bended so you have a good grip around your dumbbells ease off in your shoulder area nose pointing down four seconds three two and bring the dumbbells out to the side and we're going to do some running in and out on the spot yes it's a little bit of a struggle to get out of those dumbbells so in and out here let's go so you're gonna push it forward so you did have it in your warm-up now you're gonna set up the tempo so you should not be able to speak so of course look after yourself inhaling bouncing in and bouncing out pushing yourself well knowing that we have two strength exercise coming up so out of those eight exercises you want to push those pulse exercise stimulating all your system boosting that metabolism <clears throat> so push it push it push it in and out let's go for another four you can do it three two and here we are we're gonna do some triceps you're gonna put one dumbbell in between your knees all depending on the weight of your dumbbell you can either go with both or with single we're gonna do the triceps plank here so up and down tabletop triceps so elbows pointing back you can always leave the dumbbell or you can leave it up here and continue what is important is that you do the flexion and extension in your elbows sometimes i see people go like this but they don't get anything out of it in their triceps you want to hit those arms and you want to go with the position here where you go down and up again because you're bending in your arms we have another eight seconds <clears throat> four not pushing off with your legs using your arms yes so when you're done with this you should feel it, a burning sensation in your upper arms or else you need to look a little bit more into the quality we're gonna go in here and we're gonna push our 
knees in for the final exercise. So 45 seconds here. Knees pointing out to the side, doing a little bit of a flexion in your lower back. So you pull that hip and your rib cage towards each other. Some people might feel it a bit in the lower back. If it's not hurtful, you can continue, but just be extra uh, careful about the engagement in your core area. And if it's not working for you, you can come down here and you can do an ordinary with a little bit more of a support. So bring it up and slowly down, inhaling, exhaling, squeezing, squeezing for four, three, two, and that's it. The first eight exercises. Timer to a stop and you're gonna grab some water. And if you are thinking that you don't need any water right now, you wanna push up the intensity. You have your 45 seconds and you're gonna do the best you. So get a little bit of water. One third of the way. Now you know the exercises. That's always what I feel. Round number one, you get to know the exercises, right? Round number two, you're just gonna smack it. And round number three, you're gonna smack it as well because it's the final round. So the first exercise, we're gonna do the single arm upright row. And we are gonna continue with some abs and we have this full body workout at the end. So you know there's only two out of the eight exercises where it's gonna target your pulse. So you're gonna push that heart, the high knee tapping and the box running in and out. We are gonna continue here with round number two before you get all cool and stiffen your joints. We want to continue. So single arm up, shoulders are back and lifting up. I don't know where you are or how the weather is, but I am in Denmark and we had a, not a not very good summer until now, but now the summer has really hit the country and I am in this room and it's very, very hot. I think I would, would be able to sweat just by standing doing nothing. That's just the Danish weather in a nutshell. Either it's raining or windy or else it's just hit you bang with high temperatures. We're gonna continue with eight seconds more here in round number two. And do remember equal amount on each side. Yes, you're gonna put the dumbbells away because you're gonna lie down and do the heel tap, no dumbbells. So pushing that lower back down, you could either have your feet here or lift it up. Just make sure you engage your oblique muscle. Let's go, chin is in. Or you could support your head and you could lower your feet. So if you're struggling up here and it just doesn't work for you, it's much better to lower the level and get something out of it. Then you might want to grab like four times up here and then you want to go down again, continuing. You have again your seconds and you're going to do the best possible for you. 15 seconds, squeezing, inhale, exhale, keep that chin in. So it doesn't bother in your neck, it's a very good way to do some stability training of your neck. Yes, up to a standing position, the high knees tapping, and you do know you have two out of eight exercises with the pulse, so please make sure that you are hitting that heart rate. Not saying that you don't get short of breath lifting weights, but this is where we're gonna push that hill, running up that hill and get even more effective on your breathing. You know you have to get short of breath to boost that metabolism. And as we age, it's getting even more and more important pushing that metabolism because as we age, the metabolism just slowly goes down and we don't want that we don't want that because then in the end we're going to just sit and look and gain weight and get in a bad shape so we want to stay in good shape to have the best possible life all the way through headed here for the final four three two and here we are dumbbells for the biceps and the shoulder press up in a sort of like a V. Use those 15 seconds to get into position. 
two and one squeezing pushing up and as you go up and you're going to push a bit away into that v is challenge your shoulder stability if that's too much you can go straight up or you can go up here single arm single arm and down again i want you to do the best possible quality chin is in inhaling a little bit of a squeeze in your lower body for that position 10 more seconds squeezing pushing up we have some glute work coming up so we're gonna lie down on our stomach in just a few seconds yes so this is why we're gonna be a little bit in a hurry end with those dumbbells of course you can do it with no dumbbells and you're gonna lie down engaging your core and let's go both legs or single leg oh just do something time is running squeezing slowly down and keep your neck safe so keep that nose pointing down you can go single leg squeeze up and down or you can go both legs but you want to feel it every single repetition you want to feel it in that glute it's not going to happen by itself activating bring it up for a final five seconds squeezing slowly down yes we did that one and dumbbells out to the side we're going to do the second pulse exercise Oopsie, I hope you do it a little bit more elegant than me. The box run in and out. So hands fisted here. Let's push it in and out. So bring it front and bring it out again. So I, I hope I hear you pushing that heavy breathing in and out, in and out. Let's go. So pushing it and bring it back in again. We have some triceps, we have some ab work, and then you complete it around number two. 10 more seconds. Bring those knees up, tapping, tapping, tapping. Stepping on fire. Four, three, two, and here we are. So one dumbbell, two dumbbells. Bring it in for the tabletop triceps i think i'll go with both of my dumbbells and we are gonna extend flexion and extension so push your buttocks a little bit forward but make sure you keep those shoulders down not over uh, coming all the way up here you want to be in that straight position flexion extension flex extension and you don't want to push too much off with your feet you want to do let the upper body do the work and you want to feel it in your triceps by an hour chin is in and we have only 12 seconds left one more exercise and a short break so feel your weight five four squeezing yes you want to go down with that zero second you want to get those dumbbells away you want to get out of that exercise when you have completed the 45 seconds yes we're gonna bring those knees in a little bit out to the side so you get all the way down here and out to the side you want to keep your arms up here if it's too much lie down or you can get a little bit of a easing off with your lower back just by putting your hands down so bring it up engaging pelvic floor as well and pushing a little bit more you don't you do know you have a break in just a few seconds so you want to push it as hard and you're two-thirds of the way in just a few seconds let's go eight seconds squeezing bring it up two and here we are so two-thirds of the way being on our way to round number three and then i'm going to treat you with a little bit of a stretch in the end 
turning then this into approximately 30 minutes of a workout you should be able to get that out of your busy schedule doing something good for your body is the only one you have so you want to make it a happy place to be in your body yes it deserves it so we are gonna hit it off with our final round doing the upright row so this is a full countdown and one two three all the way down to exercise number eight stretching and you can feel great the rest of the day so you got your dumbbell we got the timer and we are ready for one more of the exercises let's go so it's always good to evaluate right after a workout would i be able to push a little bit more with the dumbbells i have or maybe i should look for a little bit of a heavier set of dumbbells you save a lot of money when you do workouts at home so hopefully there will be a little bit of a spare change to get a little bit of different kind of sizes of your dumbbells so bring that chest up this is your final round of the first exercise here inhaling and exhaling you gotta go equal amount on each arm and you have five seconds left so hurry hurry lifting up and bring those dumbbells to the side lying down ready to push your lower back down into the ground doing the oblique work chin is in support your neck if needed and or you could just do it some other way try to keep your feet up to get a little bit more extra work here or else you're just going to go down push that lower back down but again you want to do it so you don't get all focused on your neck the more you lift yourself up with your shoulder blades off the ground, the easier it will be to keep your neck in a good position. So bring it from one side to the opposite side for 10 more seconds. So inhaling, exhaling, pushing that sideway, lifting and one more on each. Yes, you are doing great. You are going to go in for that. Those high knees tapping. So we have seven seconds left. So inhale and exhaling and make yourself proud. Let's go, 45 seconds. It's not even a minute. And with that being said, you don't wanna do those pulse exercises for a longer and longer time. So if you feel, keep it up, keep it going. If you feel that you could do a bit more, don't extend the time, do it harder what you're doing that meaning lifting your knees even higher in the pop sequence and bring heavier dumbbells for the strength don't extend it don't do, fall into that trap 12 seconds when you're doing workouts for hours and hours keep the intensity and keep the short period of time four more seconds yes so bring the dumbbells for the biceps curl to the press up i'm telling you as i told you before in some of my session here don't fall into that trap where you extend your workout for hours and hours you will just be tired hungry and you will not lean up i'm telling you and as we get older we have a certain of course we had that all through life but we have a little bit less of an energy to do the different kind of things so we want to keep it sharp intense and effective so squeezing pushing it up it's always good to do the elevation <laughs> elevate elevate here and pushing up above shoulder level so get the stability in and now we're gonna lie down for the frog lift in with those dumbbells and of course you can do it with no dumbbells hands underneath hips and we're going to bring both up a single leg let's go nose pointing down and 
get up and feel that squeeze. And if you're struggling here, you can't get your legs up and you don't feel the squeeze because you can't do the extension in your hip. You wanna go, yes, single leg up and down. It doesn't matter, just as long as you feel it. 18 seconds left. This is your final round for the frog lift. Make sure you feel it, get something out of it. And in just a few seconds, we only have three exercises. Left, up we go, down again, two, and here we are. Dumbbells out, up for that running in and out. And if you have another pulse exercise that brings your heart rate even higher, then you're just gonna do that. That's what it's all about. Let's go. Final pulse exercise for today. Inhaling, tapping, tapping like fire underneath your feet, but also keep your upper body activated. So you're doing the rotation. You can bring your arms further up if that pushes you even harder. It should be because you're lifting hands above heart level. So squeezing your final pulse exercise. We have triceps. We have some app work left, or you can always walk on the spot if you are a little bit new into this. 10 seconds. And do remember, it's not dangerous to get shorter breath. It will come down again. Your breathing is completely normal. Yes. So you ready for the triceps? So in with those dumbbells. Fingers pointing a little bit out to the side, up on your heels, and let's go. Squeezing, flexion, and extension. Chin is in, and make sure you still have a neck, so you don't do, whoopsie, so you don't do like this, shoulders up and heighten your neck. You wanna be lean, strong, and long. Flex extension, flex extension. You know you only have an ab work and some stretching lift. We have 12 seconds. Squeeze an equal amount on both arms. You can always bring your feet a little bit into the game if it's getting too much. Yes, dumbbells to the side. Boom, boom. And leaning back for that final exercise. So engaging, pulling up and out to the side with the knees, belly button in, shoulder down, chin in, bring those knees out to the side. Bring it up and slowly down again. You are in control and you can do it with your hands down. Make sure you feel the connection. You can come back up again with hands off. Just try to keep you a little bit out of that comfort zone. If this you could go on for like minutes, you might want to challenge yourself a little bit here. If this is too much for 45, you want to put your hands down now and then. Yes, beautiful. So I'm going to put the timer to a stop. Maybe you want to grab some water, but we are going to do the stretching part. You're going to straighten out your left leg, Right leg in, and you're gonna shoulders down, and you're gonna lift yourself up and feel that sitting bones on both your uh, buttocks, and you're gonna turn a bit, open up in your chest. So recently, I went to Indonesia for my summer vacation with my family, and uh, I convinced my oldest daughter to go to a yoga class in the morning on Gili Trabagang, it's a small island in Indonesia. And uh, we went and I found out that my body hadn't been into very different kind of position for a very long time, getting all stiff. And I think it all comes down to the place I work as a physiotherapist and a group instructor in my daily life. During COVID, we shortened the classes with five minutes and Instead of teaching 55 minutes, I was teaching 50 minutes to get the air in and out before the next class. You're gonna alternative to the other sit leg. And 
what did we cut out of the classes? I don't know if everybody did, but what happened in my classes is I cut out the stretching and then I found myself in that yoga class, having done yoga for a long time. And I was so stiff and I thought, I thought to myself, this is not gonna work, I'm getting older. I need to do some stretching. So if I don't put stretching in the session you do here with me on my channel, please go and grab the link I always put in the end or look at my channel and do some stretching as well. I also have something called uh, connecting tissue where you go really deep into that connecting tissue. So you can again find all different kinds of workouts on my channel. I also have a 30, turn around here. If this is not comfortable for you, for your lower back, you can go down here. Shoulders are down. You can also find a challenge where you do 15 minutes three, time, three times a week. I have a beginner challenge where you get a little bit more explanation of the techniques. There are so many sessions here on my channel. So uh, use it, it's all for free and share it with somebody you love. And we're gonna push our buttocks back. And we're gonna put, get a nice stretch around the upper body and our lower body. And the most fun part about that yoga class in Indonesia was actually that the guy that was teaching and running the yoga class was named Yoga. He tried to convince us that that was his birth name. I don't know how many of us was buying in on that. But anyways, he was teaching yoga and his name was Yoga. I hope you had a great time here and thank you for joining me. Just one more step towards health and make sure that you stay happy, healthy and stay strong. Hope to see you soon here on some of my other workouts. So take good care. Bye.